What's up peeps? It's Miss Revels. We're going to be creating an abstract shape collage today. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of white paper, a pencil, a black sharpie, and an eraser. We're going to be using the elements of art, line, shape, and color to create today. Once you've gathered your materials, make sure you write your name and your class code on the back of your paper in pencil first. You guys are going to use pencil to start your drawings. Miss Revels is just going to start with Sharpie so that you can see it better on camera. You're going to start off by just drawing some really different line varieties. I started off by drawing a straight line. I'm going to draw a zigzag line. You're just going to fill your page with about four or five um, different types of lines that you know and you want your lines to cross over each other to create this kind of dynamic space. So I'm going to finish my last lines kind of this bumpy line here and you notice my lines go all different directions. Some of them are straight up and down, some go diagonally, some are more horizontal. Your next step is to start overlapping your lines with some different types of shapes. You want your shapes to go on top of those lines because wherever the lines and the shapes cross, it's going to create a really interesting shape inside of there. So I'm going to go through and just add some more shapes to my paper. Different triangles, rectangles, circles, overlapping my lines to create a more interesting piece of artwork. So you can see I've gone in and in each, inside of each shape that I've drawn, I've used patterns and different lines to create a more interesting piece. I'm going to fill in each little section with a different pattern. So where those lines cross over those shapes, it's going to create another shape inside of there. And so I just filled all of those different little pockets with new shapes. I'm not doing that on the outside of the shapes, but on the inside of the shapes. And I've even added a few more um, shapes and lines just to make it a little bit more interesting and to fill in some of that space. I'm also going to go back through and thicken up some of these lines. That just means I'm going to go back over the lines that I drew to start my piece and just make them a little bit more thick. Again, just to add some difference in variety in my artwork. Now that I filled in all of my little shapes with different patterns and lines, I'm ready for the next step. I'm going to take some crayons. Any type of crayons you have will work. And I'm going to use the crayons to color inside of those shapes and those patterns. So I'm not going to color on the outside. I'm going to color inside of each one of those little shapes that I've done, not on the outside of the shapes. So I've made a lot of different kinds of lines, and I can use color to create pattern. So I could do blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, and that would be a pattern, or any other um, different types of patterns you can make with color. You're going to fill in all of those shapes using your crayons first. Once you're finished with that, the next materials you're going to need are some washable markers, a sheet of tin foil, and a spray bottle with water. I'm going to fast forward through the coloring so that you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Now you're going to take your tin foil and tear off a little sheet. You're going to get your artwork and place it face down on the tin foil and you're going to use your sharpie marker to trace around the outside of that paper so that you know where your paper should be lined up for this next part. So we're going to use these markers and some spray um, sprayed water to create kind of a tie-dye look in the background. It's not going to go over the top of your crayons because crayons are made out of wax so when you put the water and the marker on top of them, it's not going to soak through it. It's going to go around it, kind of like a watercolor resist. So now that I know where my paper is on my tinfoil, I'm going to take my washable markers. It's really important you have washable markers, not permanent markers. Washable markers. And I'm just going to color in different areas of color all over my tinfoil inside of that square that represents my or inside the rectangle that represents my paper so you can use all warm colors or all cool colors you can make a rainbow you can do any style of color you want um, and you're just gonna fill your whole entire little rectangle with that color 
So now you're going to take your spray bottle and you're going to spray your tin foil a couple of times <clears throat> and you'll start to see the color of the marker kind of bleed together and run together and that's what you want. You're going to take your artwork and place it face down, line it up inside of that rectangle that you drew in Sharpie um, and press down with your hands and let the paper soak up some of that color. You want to make sure the whole paper gets saturated. When you peel back, you have your final piece. You've got this kind of funky watercolor look um, with your marker and that is a completed piece of artwork. I hope you guys enjoyed creating with me today and we'll see you again soon.